Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah. Wabada. Uh, my friend, my brother, Ijaz. Ijaz Misar. In Arabic, Ijaz mean not fake. Very original. Cannot be imitated. <laughs> In Arabic. So that's why we... Uh, I studied Arabic. Ya, uh, Jazul Quran. So Al Quran is holy book that cannot be imit uh, imitated. It uh, yes, you come with originality. Thank you. We want to get the program organized. The programs organized by the embassy always, you know, uh, cooperated with those reliable, original, genuine. And I found uh, Mr. Uh, Ijaz is the right person. CEO is also the right partner for making Indonesian pro uh, the research program more, you know, genuine, original, and impactful. Exactly. Inshallah. Yes. Not only for Indonesia, but also for the both countries. Yes. Okay, uh, so I will be very brief, Inshallah, because it's uh, 30, 35 slides, but okay. Set, uh, why Indonesia? Demographic Indonesia has a lot of uh, people. We have uh, 280 million right now. Previously, yes. Now, 280 million. We have middle class, like, you know, in Canada. The whole population of Canada, compared to Indonesia, is equal to uh, Middle East, uh, sorry, middle income, uh, middle middle class, sorry, middle income class in Indonesia. Middle income, uh, middle class will have, you know, will make change in everything. It, 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 it based on our experience. And then second slide, please. Yeah, second okay. slide. We have large domestic market, like. Uh, Nazia said that we are to G20, and now we are assessing the OECD membership. How, uh, why we have interest in assessing the OECD membership? Not because of the image or because of the you know uh, like uh, reliability of Indonesia. No, we want to improve our internal uh, bureaucracy, our internal. Uh, I just improve our internal things in Indonesia, like in bureaucracy, in service, in serving people, and also in the governance, transparency, anti-corruption. If we assess the OECD, so we have standard, we can, we will be easily uh, say to our uh, people in Indonesia, so we are now OECD members. We have to have mentality of anti-corruption like this, 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 transparency like this, this, serving people like this, this, according to the standard of OEC. But Israel doesn't want to now. <laughs> Still. <laughs> okay. Next slide. Talent pool. We, we will have huge number of youth, young population, and according to my experience, young, young population is very critical. We have to give them opportunities, any opportunities, <coughs> any access to the political life, to the economic, uh, uh, economic system, to social life, anything. If not, they will be very, very wide. My existence in Syria, I had engagement with uh, Syrian students in, in, in Damascus. Some of them were attacked. Strange for me. Why you don't believe in God? Yeah, because I I cannot see God exists here. Help me. I have no access to the political life. All this current regime. I cannot. I don't have any access to the economic life because all with the crony something something. And then so what should I believe? <laughs> the same case also in Lebanon. In the United States, the same also when the facilities coming from 
science and technology make everything easy in America. So they also don't believe in God. So we have to make something balanced to our young generation. First, access, and third, trust in God. How to make our uh, youth uh, life in balance between their day-to-day uh, -day profit uh, life and also in Akhirat. This is uh, my opinion. And then, slide. Indonesia has stable, uh, you know, uh, political stability and economic stability. We maintain our growth, our growth in 5% since 2024 until 2024. In 5%, positively. Except during COVID, we had minus 2. Minus 2. And Indonesia shows the, the, the proof that democracy, democracy and economic stability can run together. Some expertise say, some experts say that to maintain economic stability should be with dictatorship, should be with the, you know, uh, tot totalitarianism, centralistic and many things. But in Indonesia, Alhamdulillah, we can maintain our economic growth within democratic life. Alhamdulillah. Why? Because we take the substance of democracy, like transparency, accountability, responsibility, and uh, uh, not, uh, you know, decreasing corruption. In Indonesia, we don't follow liberal democracy, but illiberal democracy. Why? Because we trust in God. We trust in God. We have five principles of a nation state, namely Pancasila. The first principle is belief in God, the one and the other. That by all law and regulations based on this, in Indonesia never, never accept LGBT as the product of liberal democracy in the West. It's impossible. That's why I can say, come to Farid Zakaria, the, the author of the book, Indonesia is including, included in the list of illiberal democracy. But Alhamdulillah, we enjoy our democracy. Next. Yes, this is a prosperous Indonesia. 2045 will be 327 with a productive age 65%, middle income class 70%. And we don't want to be trapped in middle income countries. We want to be upper income countries. That's why we want the GDP more than 30,500. 30, if not, if not, uh, if we cannot reach this kind of uh, uh, upper income trade, a trap, we will, you know, for uh, will be forever in middle income uh, countries forever. When we have a like, bonus, we have a lot of problems there, and then our income still, you know, uh, middle income, like uh, the Latin America uh, experience, they are trapped in the middle income countries. We don't want to uh, to be like that. And then next slide. This is our uh, unemployment decrease, slightly decrease. It's not that easy to decrease our poverty. But, uh, this un unemployment poverty are still our homework in Indonesia. Why? Because the population they like to live in the western part of Indonesia. So like. Java Island, the central part of Indonesia, western part of Indonesia, very, very dense, overpopulated. Why in this eastern part of Indonesia, with huge potentials, the people don't want to stay there uh, because of lack of the facilities, like no electricity, not enough, not enough uh, electricity, not enough energy in the uh, eastern part of Indonesia. But now we have self-sufficient in energy, including use in eastern part of Indonesia with renewable and with the wind, solar panel, and many things. We have 17,000 islands, it's easy to have electricity, to provide electricity to the people in the eastern part of Indonesia. And then, this is our growth, then, slide, yes, slide, next slide. Yeah, I said to you, uh, 75 until 
2024, uh, we can maintain our, uh, uh, you know, our growth, economic growth. And then, next slide. Next slide. Yeah, the trade balance with China recorded uh, positive first in, in, in our history. It shows that the research is now very serious in economic uh, cooperation. And then, yeah, uh, that uh, in skill level, we rank in the world 35. We have 30, uh, we have uh, we place in the rank of 35 skill labor force. 41 in the best countries overall. This uh, coming from usnews.com. And then competitive economy, we are still below Thailand and Malaysia. Indonesia now ranks uh, 34, Thailand 30, Malaysia 27. But please, uh, please keep in mind that we leave the yeah, 44 to 34 within only one year. Why? Because we expedite our connectivity, double our infrastructure in Indonesia. That's why we are more competitive. Now we are building a lot of infrastructure, a lot of uh, you know, uh, facilities, connectivity to make the business in Indonesia easier and easier. Next slide. Yeah, ease of doing business, 2020, always increase. But I don't know the, you know, the, 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 the level of doing business in Indonesia right now. But open for business, according to usnews.com, we are now in 19. 19. Open for business, cheap and affordable cost. Profitable tax environment, tax maybe still, uh, maybe not too uh, no, <laughs> not attractive to you, maybe. But uh, we have slides for that, you can uh, learn uh, more. We have also transparent government practices, still low, 7.9. Uh, but still our score, 60, uh, 68.7. So uh, we have ranked 19. Why the transparent government practice is still uh, you know, challenging in Indonesia? Because you know the, to improve the mentality from the federal government for the for the uh, from the capital city to 17,000 islands, not that, that easy. To how to serve the people, how to make accountability, how to make a transparent responsibility, and many things. Many times. In our provincial government, in our region, in our cities, in the region, they don't know yet the importance of this, you know, of this mentality. They have to trust on this need uh, time. Need time. So our president told us the importance of mental revolution. Ten years is not enough. We need more than ten years to do mental revolution. Next. Yes, FDI. This is uh, our investors in Indonesia, Singapore, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Malaysia. United States at September was still uh, in the fifth position, and the Malaysia take over. But Malaysia, Pakistan, and uh, other countries include in others. Next. Right? Yeah, this uh, between China and, and the US, their assistance in Indonesia. So when we down, uh, we downstream our mining, and then uh, China go to Indonesia, China goes to Indonesia, and then its foreign direct investment rise, rise, and then the investment of from the United States steady. That because of uh, huge investment in mining from China, when the Europe. Uh, File case against our policy in banning raw material, exporting uh, exporting raw material to the Europe, and then uh, they were very, very busy with the WTO and China come to build the smelter, to build the 
a factory and established a company in Indonesia. Now we we ban all raw materials export to, to other countries. We invite them to please come to Indonesia, invest in Indonesia, build semester, so we have a value added, we got more money, and we can absorb our youth to be workers in the uh, this industry. And then next, top sectors in Indonesia. So if you go to Indonesia, you will, uh, uh, you will see this is our priorities. Mining, electric vehicle batteries, coal, infrastructure, healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Maybe Mr. Hasi will be very happy with this. And tourism. So if you have the business in this sector, it will be very, you know, very, uh, very nice to have business in Indonesia. Yes. And then? Yes. Slide, next slide. Indonesia is, because Indonesia is now the largest nickel producer in the world. Next slide. Yeah, 51% of the world nickel comes from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, next slide. Yeah, we leave uh, this, uh, you know, uh, slide to you. So this is foreign direct investment realization in many, many, uh, many sectors like uh, metal, transportation, chemical, mining, paper, many things here. So if you have good, you know, business in these sectors, will be very uh, impactful also in our uh, economic operation. Next slide. Okay. Next slide. Yeah. This is tax. As uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> this is our tax. This is homework from you <laughs> for, uh, from the next, uh, previous, meet, uh, previous meeting. Yeah. So, if the corporate, if you have corporation in Indonesia to the establish there, the long you have investment in Indonesia, the you know the lighter uh, tax, even no tax, yeah, in Indonesia. So what is this Super this one. Super tax deduction. Super deduction. Super deduction. Okay. Asal, uh, you can explain that. So super tax deduction is like the work the facilities that we are providing uh, for the foreign investor that want to come to Indonesia, but the, for to get the right kind of facilitation, of course, there is some uh, 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 some uh, requirement to, to fulfill to, to get the super tax deduction and. Correct. You mean, I mean, I mean, of course. Uh, Maybe we we can uh, we can uh, explore, uh, explore later. Okay. In this question answer. Yeah. And then next, next. Yeah. 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 Y
these bank in Indonesia, in Pakistan, that have uh, you know uh, relations making system with uh, our uh, banking system. And then next, student and then tourism. Next, oh, we cannot see. <laughs> we cannot see. Yeah, we cannot see right. So. Indonesian, uh, Pakistani students in Indonesia are very important and very critical, uh, have a uh, very critical uh, role in Indonesia because sometimes, uh, many times, students have, you know, a bridge how to uh, connect Pakistan and Indonesia. You have excellent diaspora in the United States, you have uh, excellent diaspora in, in Europe, in Australia. You export your commodities in America, in Europe, uh, to, to, to Europe, America, Australia. Many times I see that because of the, that happened because of your diaspora. So if you have, uh, I think in the Pakistan diaspora in Indonesia is very low. Malaysia maybe more the Pakistan diaspora there. But in the uh, Pakistan students in Indonesia now more than 400 students. They I think they can play their uh, vital role in connecting more Indonesia and Pakistan. Of course they are not allowed to do business in Indonesia, but they can be bridge between Indonesia and Pakistan in economic relations. This is the tourism. Pakistan had uh, sent tourists to Indonesia, no, no more than 15,000, no more than 14,000 14, something. India sent to Indonesia more than 600,000 a year. Yeah, in the, in the recent, uh, sorry, Indian visitors enjoy, you know, visa on arrival. You don't enjoy it yet. Yeah, because of, like you said, image and something. But we can, we can say in our CEO uh, summit in the Bali that look, Pakistan people are friendly. Pakistan people are, you know, uh, attractive. Have huge potential and promising. So actually, Pakistan people are rich. Rich. I don't know whether the government rich or not, but I know that Pakistan people are very rich. <laughs> I, I met with, with many business people in Peshawar, Gujarat, Gujarnawala, and uh, in, uh, you know, in Lahore, many times in Lahore, Faisalabad, and next week will be in Quetta. I know, uh, I, I, I enjoy this uh, visit. Why? Because we are very rich. Please come to Indonesia with your money. <laughs> and then, uh, next. Next slide, please. It's more than Bali. No more than Bali? Get up here. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, tourist destination in Indonesia is no, uh, not only Bali. We have uh, ten new Bali. Ten new Bali. Like uh, the largest Buddhist temple is located in the largest Muslim countries in the world, namely Borobudur. We have uh, Komodo Island, the only dragon live on Earth right now. Komodo Island, and then next, first please, yeah, yeah, and then next, yeah, yeah. next, yes, five con countries with biggest transaction in our previous like as export, again, uh, Malaysia, India, China, Vietnam, and French, French, uh, Russia, uh, Belanda, Belanda, Netherlands, okay, <laughs> we call it Belanda, Netherlands. Five products with biggest transaction in the previous uh, expo was a coal, chemical and organic product, strategic industry, uh, you know, low strategic industry, and then electronic product, process, uh, process, uh, <coughs> hopefully for this year, products with biggest transaction will be, you know, will be, uh, particip uh, will be contributed by Pakistani business people. Uh, in this expo, inshallah. And five countries with biggest transaction, not only from these countries, but also from Pakistan. We hope, because we are very rich, and I said. <laughs> and then, 
Lowest, okay. Day 2023 performance, we have 38,000 visitors, exhibitor more than 1,200, coming from 116 countries. Okay, and always increase. So the visitors are always increasing. Okay. Okay. The next. Product services you can see in the brochure. The next. Terima kasih. Sukriya. And the next. This is my code. Uh, but if you want to reach us, not only with me, but also with uh, my team. Uh, there's Muhammad um, Ibrahim, also my colleagues, Rotul Ain, Rotul Ain, and also my uh, colleague Aksa. Okay. The next. Thank you. If you have uh, time, please download, uh, please photo this to, uh, just to uh, feel about Indonesia, your impression about Indonesia. This, uh, this is very important. We have to report to our capital city about how foreigners see on Indonesia. Uh, if there is some, uh, some inputs or something not uh, suitable with our uh, plan, the national plan, we will uh, improve internally. So we need your uh, impression, we need your input, your comments on uh, updated Indonesia. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, uh, to, to tell us. Okay.